A Zimbabwean minister has ordered traditional leaders to seize land belonging to homosexuals and expel them from their communities. Local government minister Ignatius Chombo, who belongs to President Robert Mugabe's ZANU-PF party, said homosexuality was a foreign value. The chiefs are there to protect and promote our cultural values and those who support same-sex marriages must be banished from the communities and dispossessed of their land, he told a traditional ceremony at the weekend. What kind of madness is this that when we have beautiful women in our country some people want to marry other men? He chided Prime Minister Morgan Svangari for seemingly supporting gay rights in Zimbabwe's proposed new constitution. Dogs and Pigs Mr Svangari who formed a coalition government with President Mugabe in 2009 told the BBC last year he would not oppose provisions on gay rights if the majority of Zimbabweans wanted them included in the constitution. It's a very controversial subject in my part of the world, he said in the interview last October. My attitude is that I hope the constitution will come out with freedom of sexual orientation, for as long as it does not interfere with anybody. To me it's a human right. ZANU-PF hardliners now want the constitution drafting process abandoned claiming the parliamentary body leading the process ignored people's views and included gay rights in the draft. The views you raised during the constitution outreach program are in Harare and they are written down, Mr Chombo said. The problem is that our colleagues in government want to change your views and include foreign values. President Mugabe is vocal critic of homosexuality, calling those who practice it worse than dogs and pigs. He also accuses Western leaders of trying to force Africans to embrace homosexuality. But analysts say Zanu PF is using the alleged clause to sabotage the constitution-making process so that elections could be held without new reforms.